Meanwhile, just up the street, Clinton football was practicing. The practice was not officially affiliated with the school, though. Instead, this practice was for a seven-man football league where only passing plays will be allowed. It's an independent league with its own insurance. No running. Head coach Zachary Jones says getting the players back to football does more for the student-athletes than just getting them to stay in shape. I think that football is such an important tool. Um, and it's always been such a big part of my life, and I know, you know it is for our guys, that you, know, you learn how to deal with adversity. Um, you, know, you learn how to become a young man and, and to develop characteristics and the habits that you're going to carry with you for the rest of your life. And I think the, the participation and the desire and, and the effort that you know, my players, along with a bunch of other players, uh, I think what it goes to show is that they know how to deal with adversity. And this year, one with a lot of changes, a lot of adversity. Jones says that having these practices and playing games gives the students something to look forward to. And he says for some of them, football is what drives them to stay mentally healthy and do well in school. Jones says each team in the seven-man league will play two 40-minute games on Friday nights. And the schools involved include Holland Patton, Oneida, Adirondack, Sequoit, Notre Dame, Canastota, Camden, along with Clinton. Jones says that he hopes to hold official high school practices some point this fall as well.